Hi, I'm Brad at CES. Well, I had a lot of different appointments yesterday and today just to check out a bunch of different XR-related hardware. There was a message I got out of blue from Palmer Lucky, and he asked me one simple question that I thought he was joking at first. He said, are you interested in trying a VR headset that uses e-ink displays? If you don't know what e-ink displays are, they're the same displays that they use in like the Amazon Kindles. They're not really known for immersive or any fast refresh rate content. In fact, it was such a joke even for many years that my Discord would just always have that as a meme concept. And of course, when they offered the opportunity, I said, yeah. So Palmer would actually connect me to the co-founder, his partner co-founder at Anderil, which is where he works now. And this co-founder would actually be funding a startup that is making a headset with e-ink displays. So I'm just going to tell you what the product is called and everything about it and just really a very small experience. Uh, it's called the Soul Reader. It's a very simple device, honestly. It's very light. It's under 100 grams and it has 30 hours of battery life. Its main purpose that they explained to me is they want people to be able to lay down in bed, put these little uh, pancake lens HMD type thing on, and with a very simple controller, just flip through pages on a book, just like a Kindle, but hands-free. I was actually surprised. A lot of people were kind of interested in that concept. Of course, they didn't know the price, which I'm going to tell you right away. It's pretty expensive, and even though it's not out yet or pre-orders are open, I'm hoping they can get it down at some point. So the device uses pancake lenses. It has Wi-Fi, has Bluetooth, um, and again, you can charge it via a USB-C port to get up to 30 hours of battery life on one charge. It uses two e-ink displays, pancake lenses. Um, somehow does not remove all the light from those e-ink displays. They said they had to work very high to, high to get those uh, displays to a good brightness level to compensate for that. But when you look through the actual lenses, it is a very square image, just like a book is like kind of floating in a dark space above you, or a Kindle tablet for that matter. One thing I did kind of bring up after my demo was they should totally actually be able to put in manga so you can actually have like black and white comic book strips uh, panel by panel. That would be a really cool feature because I know a lot of people <laughs> do like manga and it does seem like a comfortable way to experience it. Now, the actual comfort of the device, it is very light, and I, I didn't really get the comfort value out of it. The, the arms were very short. Um, they don't have a band to wrap around your head. So I ended up laying on the floor outside in the pavement where I took my demo, and that's where the magic really happened because I actually lay down with headsets all the time. In fact, I sleep in VR sometimes, which is, I know, a crazy concept to some people, but it's kind of fun sometimes for me. And when I'm laying down uh, in a headset, usually that, that actual weight from gravity is pushing down on you and you notice it. But this headset was super light. So again, it's a very interesting concept. I see where it's going. The price is still pretty high. And the one thing I think it also needs to be approved more than anything else is the e-ink displays resolution is pretty not good yet. Um, the, the, the partner I was talking about, uh, did say that they were talking to the e -ink company here at CES and they were saying that they might be able to get a hookup for much larger resolution displays which I think is a very more important thing if they want uh, people to take this seriously. The pancake lenses also have diopter adjustment and IPD sliders. Um, it, it's, it's a very simple device honestly and it's just it's not obviously subsidized from a large company. I can imagine honestly it, it seemed like a product I can imagine that Amazon might like step in one day and actually release because you know it, it, it's startup I can imagine a big company like that taking it and getting it to the next level it was just a very interesting and bizarre project would I buy one at $350 right now from what I've seen no but I kind of applaud them for doing something so crazy to begin with even though it's just e-ink VR headset the final mention is I don't expect anyone to actually play immersive content on that uh, Ink is known for having like a one refresh rate thing. Maybe someone will get Bad Apple playing on one one day, but otherwise that was pretty much my experience with the headset. Thought it was a meme, it's real, and it does what it's trying to do. Yeah.